all right guys what's up so fuel tank cells for the mr2 um you're probably deciding why did he go with two fuel cells because um one it was a little bit cheaper to do this two uh i use a lot less fuel line so it's a lot cheaper that way and three i think it's probably better weight distribution because instead of having one big fuel tank up front I'm putting these two in the rear of the car and then I'm putting them on different sides of the car. So I'll have some weight on this side, I'll have some weight on this side, and then I'll have more weight in the rear of the car. The MR2 is really light, so it probably needs all the traction it can get. So we're gonna keep, um, get as much traction as we can get. But now, um, these are just some cheap old tanks, aluminum tanks, they'll probably hold E85 perfectly fine. Cheap fuel cell tap. Um, Probably will end up getting new ones, don't know yet. Um, we'll see if these like leak or anything like that, if they don't. Um, there's some replacement tops for these things are pretty cheap, so um, worst case, we'll just get another top. Um, but we have two of them, we need to get them mounted. And um, to the one subscriber, don't know who you are, you left a comment on the last video saying, you didn't show enough fab stuff on the last video, I wanted to see how you made it. Okay, well now we're gonna do it this way. I'll just fast forward through everything. We'll make some brackets for these things out of some aluminum. Um, not too sure how I'm gonna do it yet. I just, I haven't even gone to the store yet to buy some stuff, so I'm gonna head there in a second just to get some stuff to do it, but this is kind of just like a, how I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so uh, what I think I'm gonna do is use the mounting holes that are already here, but probably just build like some bracketry down here and then try to make like some cross connect brackets. So either I can like bolt those in the car or maybe weld them in, not too sure yet, but the thing is, the brackets will be bolted in or welded in, but I can still remove the fuel tank because I'll still have some bolts um, right here I can remove. So that's what we're probably gonna do right now. And let's head to the hardware store, get some stuff and start cutting and maybe get some bolts and we'll see how it turns out. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so back from the hardware store, um, did a couple of cuts and a couple of measuring um, just on these, I brought two, uh, two angled bars and then I brought um, well actually one angled bar and one cube bar and uh, well, I guess it's not cube but yeah square square tube um, this is aluminum it's pretty lightweight I just need to make some brackets for this so we can um, bolt this in the car so what I did was I just measured from center point to center point got my distance there and then I did the same thing. I went from center point of this line to this line just to make some slacks so we can um, so we can bolt this together. That's kind of the plan. So I want to basically like make a bolt on piece so I can then like, I guess, either weld this frame into the car or bolt it into the car. And then we can go ahead and take that out. So, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, throw this together. All right, so finished product, pretty sturdy. Should hold the fuel tank in there pretty good. Um, I mean, the only thing I don't like on it is these uh, bolts are a little long, but uh, what we're probably gonna do is just cut those bolts off and make it sit flush. But other than that though, came out pretty good. Um, it's really sturdy, it's definitely not going anywhere. Um, so what I might do is go ahead and lay these in the car and go ahead and uh, get those welded in. I, I think I, I might weld it in um, but I don't know. We might build some brackets. Nah, you know, we're, we're still, this is, I mean, I could, you know, at the end of the day, I could just toss this cause it doesn't work, but, um, we'll see. So I guess we can go ahead and, uh, wrap this up. Not even sure what's coming next. I don't even know what's, I got so much stuff I gotta do with this thing, but I mean, uh, yeah, we're getting there. So little by little, we already got this one done. Did this one first, did this one last. So, uh, yeah, guys. All right.
Later.